tonight on the death of a woman along Highway 40 near Shawnee Heights Road. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office now confirms she was found when a driver called authorities to report they'd hit something the night before but didn't know what it was. While they continue investigating, the community is expressing concerns about the victim who is known to many on social media as CRV Lady. They're asking questions about help for people struggling with mental health issues. 13's Claire Decatur looks at how the community is responding to the tragedy. Claire. Many people in Topeka knew Patricia McDonald as a CRV lady and followed reports on social media about her reckless driving. It's personal for one woman who worries about her own family's struggle with mental health. Like many Topekans, Jackie Hall knew about Patricia McDonald. I followed Patricia some on Facebook from the police scanner groups and um, how her health, her mental health had declined so much over the years, you know, and uh, just watching someone decline like that and not being able to get the correct help, you know, it just kind of breaks your heart. McDonald was found dead Wednesday alongside US 40 Highway. Authorities say she was pushing a bicycle on the road and was hit by a truck. It was very, very sad. You know, I, I saw that she was arrested a couple days before that. And then um, when she was released, she just, you know, was out on the streets again and nobody to help her out, you know, nowhere to go. So there she is, you know, in the streets and she's not here any longer because she wasn't, she couldn't go to a safe place. Jackie has the same worries for her own family. Her son struggles with schizophrenia. I've been dealing with my son's mental illness for about 10 years, and uh, it's very difficult to get him the right kind of help. It, it's really hard, you know, to know what to do. You know, nobody gives you a book on how to deal with a loved one or a family member that, with mental illness. While not commenting on McDonald's specific case, Vallejo Behavioral Health CEO Bill Persinger said, if you see someone struggling, it's natural to want to help. Keep yourself and your family safe. I just would not approach somebody, you know, and, and try to do an intervention as a, as a layman, even though your heart might feel like you should do something. I understand that, been in that situation myself, but make that call to 911. Let some others know that somebody's here who, who may need some help. But it can be difficult when someone refuses help. To seek an involuntary uh, placement in a state psychiatric hospital requires that a person um, have due process in court. Vallejo provides crisis interventions for about 1,200 individuals every year. It's, it's very um, stressful for a person to, to try to help somebody with mental illness. It, it's very hard to watch somebody out on the streets when they're refusing to get help and you know they need to get help. Vallejo Behavioral Health Care is open 24-7 every day for anyone who is experiencing a crisis. You can find mental health resources at wibw.com slash hearmeseeme.